What's up, what's up, it's your boy BB Lewis and welcome back to my YouTube page and welcome back to Behind the Beats Talk, man. We got a lot to talk about today, but hey, if this is your first time logging onto my page, don't forget to subscribe down below, click the subscribe button, then click the bell for post notifications so you get a notification, an email each and every time I drop content, man. Let today, I'm gonna give you five marketing strategies used during the Maestro Marley Cup Festival featuring Damien, Steven, Kimani, Julian, all the whole Marley family, man. The Marley brothers, man. Excellent show, Kimani Marley, big up. Big hair, big up. But I'm gonna give you five strategies why I think that festival was so, so successful. Strategy number one, email marketing. Let me tell you something. My company alone must have sent out about 65 different email blasts from my database. You know, you gotta be aggressive in this time when you're marketing stuff, especially when you're marketing festivals and you're looking to get four or 5,000 people out there. You gotta stay in people's face. They gotta see it 10, 15, 20,000 times, man. So email marketing, it was a big factor in the success of the Maestro Marley Cup. A huge factor with email marketing. And the BB strategy number two, press release, servicing the press. We serviced the press so properly. We got Sun Sentinel write-ups. We got Channel 6 television looks. We got blogs. We got calendar events. We got things to do this weekend. But it all starts with your press release. It all starts with your layout. When you're writing the press release, what's in there? What's the meat and potatoes? How do you do it? You know what I'm saying? You got to think, man. You got to think. Strategy number three, social media marketing, man. We did tons and tons of that from the BB Lewis marketing page, the Kimani Marley's page, which are huge pages, um, Maestro Marley Cup, which is the beginning page, but it jumped real quick with followers. That was one of the indications that we knew we were on to something good for the Maestro Marley Cup uh, festival, man. I'm telling you, that's the way to go about it. Strategy number four, street team, big big shout out to lenny flyers man on instagram you guys follow him he was so effective with the street team man lenny flyers man that kid yo he went from damn key west to homestead man to west palm beach he was everywhere and let me tell you something your street team has to be smart because he has to look at your flyer and then understand the demographic of who's going to show up to your festival or he's wasting his time and wasting flyers. The flyers cost money. So your street team is very important. I want to give a big shout out to Lenny Flyers who killed the streets for us for the Maestro Marley Cup. It's strategy number five, and it's the most important one. It's your lineup. Your lineup has to represent your ticket sales. Let me tell you something. With this lineup that Kimani had with the Marley Brothers and Jesse Royal and, and Major Hype, Safari, we had influencers. We had reggae legends. We have new artists, young, old, yellow man. Let me tell you something. Your artist lineup has to fit your venue area. It has to fit who's actually coming and going to show up to your festival, man. Don't forget... Don't forget, I just gave you five strategies. There's tons and tons of other strategies, but don't forget to log on to my YouTube page, man. Each and every day, we're gonna be dropping content. You're gonna be learning, and you're gonna be learning real world stuff. Like, this is real. Like, we, the festival was just Saturday. It's Sunday, and we're dropping this on Monday, which is Monday morning. I'm gonna tell you something. This is real. You can look at the pictures from the Maestro Marley Cup and see the audience. You can see the crowd. You can see the mixed crowd. You know what I'm saying? Reggae brings a mixed genre, like a mixed aura of people. Latin, uh, Americans, every single thing. Jamaicans. You got to know what you're doing when you're marketing, man. So click down below and subscribe to my page. Uh, click the bell for post notifications. I want to give a big, big shout out to my sponsors. Shore Microphones, who got me sounding amazing. Dope Duffel, who always got me looking right. And matter of fact, shout out to Dope Duffel. They, they did a special commemorative bag for the Maestro Marley Cup that was given to Damien, Steven, Kimani, and Big Hair. Trust me, man. I know what I'm doing. A B.B. Lewis Marketing and Branding Group. Listen to my tips. I'm going to always point you in the right directions. Peace.